I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about how to construct a circuit out of T flip-flops. If you've been following these uh, videos in order, you'll have seen how I created a circuit from D flip-flops. So this is sort of a similar process, slightly more difficult. And in my next video after this one, I'll show you how to make uh, any circuit out of JK flip-flops. All right, so right here I have a state diagram and it's associated state table. And what this is, is this is a uh, two-bit up-down counter. So if I put in a input of one, then it will it'll go around through the states like this. And if I put in a zero, it'll count downward until it course underflows and it'll go to three. Um, so this is the state table for it. And in order to uh, create uh, the input logic to the T flip-flop, what I need to do is I need to create another column here. And in this column, I'm going to uh, essentially put what the input to the T flip-flop is. And the way I'm going to do that is here is my current state and here is my next state. And I'm going to look at the bits here. So if I have a zero here and a one here, it needs to toggle. So I'll put a one there. Here I have a zero, here I have a one. That needs to toggle, so I'll put a one. Here I have a zero and a zero. It doesn't need to toggle, so I'll put a zero. And here a 0 and a 1, it does need to toggle. And I'll just go through the table like that somewhat quickly. So there we go. Now we have uh, a two columns for the flip-flops and whether or not they need to toggle. And so now uh, I'm just going to quickly double check my work because it seems a little bit wrong. but. Bear with me, I'll speed it up in post. Okay, no, I had it right. Um, so now I'm going to create Karna maps for these columns for uh, flip-flop A and flip-flop B. And so I'm going to do that up here. And this is in and A, B, hopefully I'm not going off screen there. All right, so if my current state is zero, zero, and my input is zero, that corresponds to this box, and I need to, I'm doing A right here, I need to have that be a one. And if I if it's zero zero and input is one, I need a zero. And we'll just go down through here. That's a zero and a one. And then we're doing this one. A one zero. And then this one we have zero one. Okay. So <laughs> uh, in this case, we can take these. So A equals, um, what would this be? This is in bar and B bar. All right, and I'm going to create another one for B now. That's A for the next state. Okay, so here this box corresponds to, actually it looks like every single one of them is a one. So that's always. <laughs> so b equals a 1 or 
true or wire it high. All right, so let's create our circuit then. We have our input. And I guess I only need an inverter on that. And then I have my T flip flops. So in order to have two states, I need to have, or four states, I need to have two bits as I've represented here. All right, I'm going to tie my clock together. All right, and these are the inputs that I'm dealing with. So this is A and this is B. And B is just getting wired to uh, plus five volts or whatever voltage you're working with in your system. And A is in bar and B. So we're just going to take that guy around there. And there we go. And this is my output right here. So that's that. That was actually a pretty simple circuit. I was expecting it to turn out to be a little bit more. Uh, anyway, uh, that's how you create a circuit from a T flip-flop. And you can do this with any, any circuit, any number of bits. Just follow the same routine where you create your kernel maps, figure out what your logic needs to be to go to the input, and uh, I don't have any output here other than the state itself, but if I had outputs, I would just create another, uh, another column there, do my card on map for that, and create the circuitry for that based on uh, A, B, and my input. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel, or uh, take a look at what I have on robotbrigade.com where I have it all organized in a nice step-by-step uh, -step structure. So, thanks for watching.